Wichita State's been playing good basketball, uh, had a very good win in, in the games that we've played with them before. Knew that we'd play a very physical team, a team that would be trying to get the ball into the paint and score a number of two-point baskets. Our game plan was to try to limit those as much as possible, try to force some contested long-distance sh shots. I uh, thought we did that for a, a good part of the first half, fairly successfully, and then the second half just got a um, and got away from us there. They were able to get the ball inside with some offensive rebounds, some really good interior passing. Um, but, you know, proud of our guys for their fight. And this has been a challenging year, but one thing that's, that's been consistent and guys have shown up, uh, Tim here to my left uh, included, uh, just trying to get better every day. And so appreciative of them for, for what the, how they battled here this year. And allow me to correct myself. It's Tim Dalger. Yes, sir. Yes. yes sir. Okay. Uh, Chuck, we have any, any, first, do we have any questions from the audience in here? Okay, okay. Chuck. Yep, I'll start. Uh, coach, you know, they, they kind of came up and threw a haymaker right early with the first 10 points of the game. Um, I, guess, you, I guess you touched on it earlier. What does it say about your guys to kind of get it back to one right there before, uh, before the end of halftime? And was it just an issue of kind of running out of, uh, of depth being a, an issue in the second half there? We talked about them coming out strong. Um, they did it at our place. Uh, we were able to come out, uh, off, get off to a good start at their place earlier in the year, but just talked about them being aggressive. And it was a, not a game that they just came out and score, score, score. It was really um, just kind of a, a slow drip, and, and we weren't able to score. Um, and that was kind of the, really the, the entire first half. Um, we held them under one point per possession. We just couldn't score quite enough to take a lead. Uh, especially after the deficit. But then the second half, those, those stops weren't there the, like we had in the first half. And, and give credit to Wichita State with some of the adjustments that they made uh, in their execution. But, you know, I, I thought our guys, just get, again, kept battling, kept trying to do exactly what we were asking them to do, and uh, Wichita State made some good plays. And, Tim, you had 21 points tonight to uh, kind of lead all players in the game. What was working for you tonight offensively? And then – a second part of that was what was what might have been different in tonight's game than maybe from the from the regular season uh, games against Wichita State. Uh, obviously, shots were falling, uh, but just my teammates giving me creating opportunities for myself, uh, just executing the game plan, just being ready to shoot, being ready to make plays when my, when my name is called upon. But uh, definitely, the difference this game was just you know we had we had a game plan, try to switch up some things from the regular season, trapping the post in different ways, a little bit of zone of man. Uh, just unfortunately, we couldn't get the job done tonight. So, uh, coach, is, is the message coming into a, a tournament format like this that you know whatever happened in the regular season is you know is a hay in the barn and, and nothing you do, and this is here's another shot at um, uh, at putting together a, you know a championship level season? Is that the the mindset coming in? Absolutely. Um, we talked about first of all how great it is to participate in March Madness. Of course, to be in an event here in the American Conference uh, that's in a wonderful venue. Uh, so many teams have already been knocked out and get a chance to keep playing. But whether you're at the top of the standings or the bottom of the standings, everything else is out the window. And it's what's made this the really the greatest sporting month in the world. And so we were just hoping to come out here and, and be able to uh, take part of the March Madness and, and try to do it as long as we could. Uh, guys gave a great effort, did a number of things very, very well. Um, but unfortunately, we, we're, we're ending our stay in Fort Worth a little early. You know, the game ended you know, 20 minutes ago, so maybe not the time to take the big picture look, but are you able to kind of, you know, assess how your first year uh, in Tulsa went, you know, kind of and the you know, meeting some of the challenges that you had to face and, and then what needs to happen going forward to, to bring the program to where you expect it to be? Well, I told the team that, you know, this, this group um, ha has endured probably more adversity than any team that I've, I've been, a, been around. Um, we've got four guys that started the year with us and, and not playing now. Uh, they had, had, all had experience, had a number of younger guys getting a lot of time this year. So we, we've always taken um, – a view of just what can we control and how can we get better. And if you look at our basketball program, there was things that we've gotten better at, um, even outside of our the, the what we've done on the court and our attendance and our game day experience and a number of different things. 
uh, came here to the University of Tulsa for a number of different reasons, and one is they really believe that we can be uh, a contender in this conference and nationally, and no one's going to take some time. But, but these guys have, have laid a foundation of, of being consistent in their, in their work ethic, in habits, and um, just trying to get, keep building from that. I thought it was a great effort by our team tonight. They played for 40 minutes. We got off to a good start. Um, Tulsa being a good basketball team, they battled back. Um, they cut the lead at halftime. We came out in the second half, and we just focused on fundamentals, you know, defending, rebounding, playing with toughness, playing inside out. And I thought our veteran guys, Rojas, Craig Porter Jr., those guys took control of the team. We built up a lead, and we held on at the end with our young guys defending, rebounding, and playing with that same type of toughness. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.